How to find my soulmate? Finding a soulmate is a deeply personal and individual experience, and there isn't a one-size-fits-all answer for how to do it. However, here are a few suggestions that may be helpful. Know yourself. Take some time to think about what you value in a partner and what you want in a relationship. This can help you identify the qualities you're looking for in a soulmate. Get out there. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there and meet new people. This can include joining social groups, trying online dating, or simply being open to conversations with new people you meet in your everyday life. Be open to different possibilities. Your soulmate may not be exactly who you expected, so try to be open to the idea that they could come in many different forms. Focus on building a strong connection. A soulmate is someone with whom you have a deep and meaningful connection. Look for someone who you can talk to easily and with whom you feel a strong emotional connection. Trust your instincts. If you feel a strong connection with someone and your relationship is built on mutual respect and trust, it's possible that this person could be your soulmate. Trust your gut and follow your heart. Ultimately, finding a soulmate is about being open, authentic, and receptive to the possibilities that come your way. It's important to be patient and not to rush into anything, as a healthy and lasting relationship takes time to develop. How do I know if someone is the person I should marry? There are many factors to consider when deciding whether someone is the right person to marry. Here are a few things you may want to consider. Compatibility. Do you share common values and goals? Can you have open and honest communication with this person? Do you enjoy spending time together and have fun together? Love. Do you love this person deeply and genuinely? Do you feel a strong emotional connection with them? Respect. Do you respect this person and their boundaries? Do you feel respected by them? Trust. Do you trust this person and do they trust you? Trust is a critical component of any healthy relationship. Commitment. Are you both ready for the commitment of marriage and do you both see yourselves together for the long term? Ultimately, the decision to marry someone is a personal one that requires careful thought and consideration. It's important to be honest with yourself about your feelings and to make sure that you are entering into marriage with the right intentions and motivations. Advantages and Disadvantages of Getting Married with Foreigner There are both advantages and disadvantages to getting married to a foreigner. Here are a few to consider. Advantages 1. You may have the opportunity to learn about a different culture and way of life. 2. It may provide opportunities for travel and living in different countries. 3. It can broaden your perspective and help you see the world in a different way. Disadvantages 1. There may be language and communication barriers. 2. There may be cultural differences that can be challenging to navigate. 3. It may be difficult to obtain visas or legal documentation if you want to live together in a different country. 4. You may be separated from your family and support system. Ultimately, the decision to marry a foreigner is a personal one and it's important to carefully consider both the potential advantages and disadvantages. It can be a rewarding and enriching experience, but it's important to be aware of the challenges that may arise and to be prepared to work through them together as a couple.